Finally, a tool that is entirely for free and that allows us to generate thousands of unique NFTs or images with all of the appropriate JSON files that we are going to require entirely for free with no code and really, really quickly and easily. I'm really excited to be showing you this tool because this tool is going to speed up the creation of NFTs incredibly, collectible NFTs. This tool really allows to create great collectible NFTs with different layers, different rarities and so on. So if you don't want to use code to generate your NFT collectibles, you can use this great tool that is going to speed up the process a lot. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to use this tool in the best way. Let's get started right away. The first thing that we have to do is go to nft slash innator.com and launch the app. Now we don't have to create an account. All we have to do is select the folder with all of our layers. Now for you to generate all of these assets, you have to have created already all of the layers that you need. So select that folder and upload all of your files, which are uploaded really quickly inside of the tool. Now to give you an idea of what the layers look like, these are the different layers that I have. I have backgrounds, I have a mascot, on top of my mascot I put glasses and hats. Now all of these layers, they are all transparent layers except the backgrounds and they're all positioned so that once all of the layers layer on top of each other, they will create an image. I have used uh, you can use different tools. I have used Canva for this, but you can use it basically with any designing tool. Now, here we are back in the tool. So let's generate our thousands and thousands of assets really quickly. So what we can do, the first thing that we can do is we can create some custom tokens that we really want. So let's create uh, one token that we want, or maybe two tokens. So let's go with this, this, this mascot and this is not looking that great and this hat all right so let's name this we're going to call this crypto kitten one awesome all right so i have created my first nft and i'm sure that this nft is going to be generated once i generate all of my other nfts which are going to be generated completely randomly so let's maybe create one more all right, so I have made a second NFT and now I know that those two NFTs are going to be created. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to check out the metadata for my NFT that is going to be created. Now, I can already just generate all of these assets, but before we generate all of these assets, we have to make sure that we configure some settings. Now, to access the settings, we can go from the metadata right here and configure the basic settings for our NFT. Now, we have the metadata that can be generated for Solana, Ethereum, and Polygon, which is great. So based on the blockchain that we're going to be deploying, we're going to choose which one of these. And the metadata is going to be generated differently. Let's stick with Ethereum and let's fill out some of this information. After filling out some basic information, this information is going to be included in the generated metadata of the asset. Basically some base, basic information regarding the name of this collection, the symbol that is going to be showing up once we upload it to the Ethereum network, the supply, how many I will generate, and that's pretty much everything that we need. Now the next phase is to generate the trades. The trades are going to be for our collectible, which is going to set the rarity of each NFT. The more unique the trades are, and more trades we have, the more interesting and unique our collectibles are going to be. So another good tip and suggestion is to name your categories and also to name your trades with meaningful names because they are going to show up on OpenSea as the different trades that people can search for and also in different wallets. If we are deploying it on Solana, we're going to see these trades directly in our wallet. Now, to set the different rarities of our of the trades, all we have to do is change the count. So let's uh, leave this as 500 and change this numbers around. So once setting the rarity, make sure that you uh, set the count of these to equal 500. So in here, the count must total the count that you have right here. So we can change these numbers around and change the different rarities. So for example, 10 and here we can have 10 and you can see that the rarities are changing 
automatically. So make sure that you change rarities as you want and you rename your uh, trades in a meaningful name so that they make sense and people can search for them. Once the rarities and trades have been set, let's go into the render settings. The render settings are going to say what kind of uh, image we want, a PNG or a JPEG. How big do we want our image? And also what kind of preview do we want to visualize while making, while generating these assets. Now the advanced configuration here is once we're going to be generating the assets, we're going to be previewing some of these images live. So if we have a slow internet connection, we might want to reduce this maybe to just two images or just zero. It's not really necessary just to preview them while they're generating. Otherwise, we can leave it as it is. Now, once all of the settings have been set up and configured, we are finally ready to generate our assets. Now, this was really, really easy. Now, before generating, I can see that I have a couple of uh, mistakes and I cannot go on before fixing these mistakes. In my rarities, I have changed the counts so that they don't match anymore. Now, I'm going to go back and fix this and try this again. All right, I have fixed all of the different trades that I had in the contract that were not adding up to the counts. And now I, I can generate all of the assets. Now, before generating all of the assets, it is good practice that you should make sure that all of the settings are correct so that the metadata that is going to be generated is going to be correct. Why this is important? Because once you upload this to the blockchain, it is going to cost you something if you're uploading to Ethereum. So it's a good idea to have everything complete before going on with the next steps. Why? Because the next steps are just going to generate the assets. Now we can include the saved assets that we have previously designed in the designer or we can completely generate random assets. Now I'm going to include the saved assets that I have designed and start the generation process. Before generating it is asking me where I should save all of the files that are going to be generated. I'm going to create a folder in here as a sample folder. So here we're going to have the generated files and we're going to save our output inside of the generated files. And amazing, excellent. In just a couple of minutes, we were able to start the generation process that otherwise we would have to use code or some other paid applications. So we are generating 500 assets. It is going to take a little bit of time. So I will check back in you in a second to show you the final steps and the output that we have created. As this is generating, we can also open the file and uh, the file that we have selected and we can see how the files are being generated. So we can see that uh, image zero has already been generated and we can see all of the other images are here as well. But we can take a look at the JSON for image one, which should be complete. So we can see that uh, all of the attributes are here. We can also see the uh, creator's share that we've set up previously and it's of 100%. Uh, we can also see the uh, seller fee basis points, the collectible names, and just the basic information that we would expect to see in a JSON file for, the, uh, for an NFT that we are going to require. Now, our process in the meantime has finished, and right now it's generating a short video that is like a GIF of all of the different images that we have created. Now, if we go back to the folder, now all of the files have been created. We should have 500 different files or 500 different images. Here is the file that was also created for us. We can download this file and also return to the generator. That's pretty much it. That's everything that we need to create a collection of as many NFTs as we want. Very easy and I'm really glad that a tool like this exists because it is uh, enabling really loads and loads of people on creating and generating loads of collectible NFTs that collect or collectible images that later can be converted into NFTs. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.